Michigan Sports 96 here, another video review, this time The Dark Knight Rises, Mezzet's 2-inch scale Batmo um, Batmobile, and Batman. So there you go, so this is the Tumblr. Uh, so really quick before I get into the review of the actual item and uh, the box and everything, just really want to uh, tell you how I got this and why I got this, really why I got it. Um, it's because uh, when I post this, it will be two nights ago, I went to a, uh, a little event in the park which actually had the tumbler, uh, which was just so cool. They had the tumbler and um, the bat pod to the, the actual ones from the movie, which was incredible. I got to take a bunch of pictures and everything and um, I, the only reason I knew about it is because because of Toys 210, so thanks so much if you're watching this. Would have never heard about it. After you told me, I never heard anything about it, um, so I would have never known if you hadn't have told me. So, um, that was incredible. Yeah, I was in my, uh, area, so it was a little bit of a drive, but, uh, still awesome. It was great to see the Tumblr. I might even go again, um, by the time I post this, it would be tonight that I'd be planning on going again, just because, uh, I missed out on the shirt. I was in line to get the shirt. You just had to answer like a trivia question to get the shirt and um they sold out before I could get to the front so I may be going again uh, to take some more pictures to look at it some more and uh, to uh, possibly get a shirt so that would be sick uh, but I did get a poster and stickers and stuff like that so it's uh, it's pretty awesome so anyway when I was coming home from that I stopped at Toys R Us uh, with really getting this in mind I, uh, I didn't know that they would have it but I thought if they did have it it would be fantastic to pick it up and they did have it so I definitely picked it up and uh, just a perfect item to end the night but um yeah so now on to and there will be pictures of the actual tumbler at the end of this review um just a few I took a couple on my uh, camera and turned them into pictures so I could attach them at the end of this so yeah so anyway here is the box pretty cool box it's um all black as you can see the tumbler would be in there obviously it looks good and um the back there's some more there's six inch Bane and Batman there are two packs of the two inch figures with these guys and then there's this I do plan on picking this up when it comes out the um, two inch scale back pod with Catwoman I really do plan on picking that up so yeah and then on the bottom um, you get the picture of the actual item so yeah it's very cool so as for the figure, when I went to Toys R Us to pick it up, I was expecting it to be $25 because um, Wine was $25 on their website, ToysRUs.com, and uh, and I thought it was going to be $25, but I got there, it said it was $20, so I was excited, a little skeptical, but excited, got to the front. The person said it was uh, 25, and so I ran up as 25. So I was very disappointed, but told them that there was money there and it was for 20 dollars. So she had somebody go check and confirm to what I said, and uh, it was mispriced. Apparently, it was mispriced, but they still gave it to me because they had a bunch. So, so I still got it for 20, which is great. So yeah. So now, finally, on to the figure review. Very sorry it took so long. But anyway, here is the figure. So, first the little Batman that you get with it. Really cool. Um, it's so little, but it's so awesome. It's just got a great kind of look to it. It's kind of like the successor of Mighty, Mighty Mugs. It kind of looks like a little Mighty Mugs guy. Overall, he's got um, great detail in here. Just, it's all painted on detail, but it's pretty nice. He's got a great head sculpt. And it just, he looks awesome. And not only that, he's got some articulation, which is pretty interesting. He's got swivel uh, shoulders, as you can see here. He's also got swivel hips, so they don't do much, but they're still swivel hips, which is nice. And he's got a ball-jointed head, which is just really interesting. Really neat. They added, you know, a decent amount of articulation for a figure this size. He also comes with a uh, cloth cape, which is, just looks great, and you can swivel it to, like, one side and stuff. And, uh, really interesting. It's actually a really nice figure. Although it's very small, it's very nice. So, yeah. So, I swiveled it wrong, so now I can't get him to stand. There we go. It's very cool. So, now on to the tumbler. Very neat. So, this thing is actually really nice. It's a very animated type of look, but it's still really, uh, you know, represents the tumbler the way that it looked in the movie and everything. The tires are rubber, and uh, I'll get into the tires in a second, but as you can see, it just looks really nice. I really love all the paneling up here and the copper, almost goldish, that they use um, on there and the two dots there, um, 
the thing actually has these. They're like they look like they open. I don't know if it's to open the top of it or if it's like to put the gas in. I don't know what that those things are from the movie. They might just be a design, but yeah. Tires on the back are really big, and he gets just a fantastic, the paint is great, it's all very metallic, you know, gold and silver, which looks fantastic. The wheels are huge, and uh, the wheels have nice detail, they're all rubber, and um, hold on a second, I want to show you something, but I forgot to bring it, so. Okay, so the wheels, they don't actually turn at all, um, which I was came to a surprise with me, but uh, apparently they're a little worried that people are going to um, think that the, the item doesn't work. So it does come with this, attention consumer, this collectible vehicle replica has non-moving wheels. The wheels on this product are not intended to turn and should not be considered um, defective. So. As you can see, uh, I, apparently they're worried that people are going to think that their thing's broken and stuff. I do find it strange that they don't move. Um, there's, certainly, there's certainly no reason that they shouldn't move, but they're just not supposed to, I guess. So, very interesting. I thought that was kind of interesting that it came with that. And yeah, so um, the only really feature that this thing has is you can pop off the top. It's just this little panel. You got a couple of pegs right there right there and then a couple on the back here and here so yeah and inside do get a kind of nice interior you've got a little just uh i guess it's supposed to be like a um, control panel and you've got some seats the back of seats and uh, there's a couple of circles as you can see because that's where the figure's uh feet are supposed to go and he just stands in it <laughs> and yeah so pretty interesting thing you can close it up fine and he fits fine and uh, because it's rubber, it's like all the paper that's down here, it's really moving it, so sorry about that. So as you can see, pretty neat. Um, certainly didn't need to do that, but that's really cool that the figure actually fits into the uh, the thing. So I thought that was a really neat, interesting, and cool gimmick. And it, it closes very nicely, very easy to do. So yeah, so overall this tumbler is very cool. Uh, really just a nice replica. There's really not too many tumblers that are coming out. There's a couple gimmicky tumblers. There's the Hot Toys, which is a fantastic tumbler, but it's over $400, so don't plan on picking that one up. So out of all the tumblers that are coming out, this is just a nice little replica. Great uh, display piece on your shelf, and it just looks fantastic with the little Batman. I cannot wait to get the back pod. And uh, yeah, so here are some pictures of uh, the tumbler and also the Batman. Pod, um, because both of them were there uh, that I got to see. It very cool and just a fantastic little replica. I cannot wait to display it on my shelf. It just it looks fantastic. Very neat looking. So there you go. Thanks.